the Pharmacist Month, and today, October 12th, is Women Pharmacist Day. So it's a time to celebrate and recognize the pharmacists all across the country and the impact they make on patients and the healthcare community. Joining us today is Madeline Aquilano, a board-certified clinical pharmacist at Hartford Hospital, all to answer questions about medications from Facebook. Madeline, thanks for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Marcy asks, what is the difference between cost, uh, between generic prescriptions and brand name prescriptions? Yeah, so cost is honestly the biggest difference. Um, there's really only a couple minor differences between generic and brand name medications. A generic medication is really meant to work the same way as a brand, and the FDA does require that they prove it, and they prove that they're the same in terms of quality, strength, dosage, route of administration, um, everything like that. Where they really differ are inactive ingredients, colorings, flavoring. So they do typically look a lot different. Um, for most people, this isn't an issue, but if you have any type of allergy or sensitivity to those inactive ingredients, then that can be a consideration. Okay. And Monica wants to know, when having acid reflux, how much over-the-counter acid reducer can I take? Yeah, that's a great question. So it really comes down to like the exact type of medication that you have and the exact form of it, um, because even the same medication can come in many different strengths, which will affect how many you're going to take at one time. Um, luckily, though, all over-the-counter products have to be labeled with their strength, and then the package also has to have directions for safe use. So make sure you pay attention to things like how much to take at once, how often to take it, what the max is, you know, for a daily dose, et cetera. Um, and make sure, too, to always ask your provider before you start a new medication, especially when it comes to acid reducers. They actually do have quite a few drug interactions. All right, real quick, um, we only have less than 30 seconds. What are some common medication and food combos to avoid? Yeah, so one, if we're talking OTCs, um, for anyone taking an iron supplement, it really should be taken on an empty stomach. Any type of food can really um, decrease its absorption. But a fun tip here is that vitamin C can actually help increase absorption. So taking it with a glass of orange juice is a great idea. All right. Thank you so much for the information, and we appreciate your time. And for everyone who wants more questions, you can visit hartfordhealthcare.org slash pharmacy.